Everybody, it's me, Andrew. Get out into nature and tune in for yourself. Resonate with the Earth's electromagnetic field via 432 hertz, the universal frequency. Balance out psychologically and emotionally and further strengthen your brain and your heart's coherence as well. Get a plant-based diet going for yourselves today and to nurture yourself right back into life. We are literally herbivores in our nature. Further balance out your physical body's pH level and to get with alkalinity. Then you can generate some static electricity. Send me some love telepathically. Set attention to your mind and set intention to communicate. That is all there is to telepathy. You are now tuning in to great days. So uh, I'm going to talk on being alone and uh, why being alone is a necessity for us to come into uh, a a stronger connection right um with the universe and also uh coming to know yourself right so let's get into this um so being alone is very very necessary right and this is for all people um, even though we are social creatures, we're social creatures, um, in our nature, but being alone is something that isn't impossible for us, it is very, very beneficial for us to be able to be alone, um, within our lives, right, so not everybody likes to, uh, be alone, but for the people who, uh, pretty much, are going uh, to stay alone this is like the perfect way to uh, come into self mastery right because whenever you come to be alone you can actually come to know thyself deeply uh, because when you're around other people or whenever you are within a crowd it makes it very, very hard for you to actually be able to um, get clarity of vision, right? Um, most often it takes you a time alone, prolonged time alone, in order to be able to gain absolute clarity right without any type of distortions um which can easily come when you are uh, around other people right because you're then sharing all these different types of delusions and you are very deeply confused okay uh and 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 it's hard to actually see over that veil when uh it's shared between a group of people right um so whenever whenever you're alone, you can actually easily uh, see through that illusion, lift the veil, right? And uh, you can actually see the delusion for what it is. Um, so this is why being alone is very necessary. And the silence that comes with being alone is the key to uh, coming into truth, right? Or coming into equilibrium uh, or centeredness and becoming more meditative which is very much uh the entire process of it of uh mastery right because uh mastery involves a meditativeness to it um and this is what uh being alone is going to do for you it's going to help you come to know yourself because there is less distractions and you can become more, you get more in tune, and you can connect with yourself more deeply and more intimately, right, um, without uh, other people around you, right, so, so being alone is, um, is very, very important for us to know ourselves deeply, to understand ourselves, and to expand our awareness, because they are one and the same, um, and, and knowing thyself is literally knowing God or being able to experience God, right? Because uh, uh, everything is oneself and self is God, 
because you are God, because there's only one organism here, um, and this is us, this is me, or this is you, okay, only one being, non-being, and, uh, you can go deeper into this only when you are alone because other people uh they can very much stagnate the process right as you are getting deeper and deeper in the entanglement the um the more you spend time with people the deeper you are getting entangled and entanglement is uh synonymous with karma in fact, I think entanglement is literally karma, right? So, so the more you get entangled with other people, the more that um, you, the more entangled you are with another person, the more it can stagnate your uh, personal mastery, right? Uh, but it can also help you as well. So, it's just all about how you want to go about it, right? Uh, but being alone is very necessary. Um, everybody got to everybody got to go alone uh, in order to do certain things for themselves, right? As an individual on the path of self-realization and enlightenment, right? It almost always involves going alone, at least to do certain things. Um, but being alone. It, once again, it helps you to come to know thyself deeper, deep, uh, even deeper than what you may be able to come to know of thyself with other people, right? So this is very important. This is why you need to be alone. You need to be alone and you need to... experience silence and you need to experience peace and you need to be able to uh come into the deeper states of stillness because in the stillness you're going to be able to um go deeper into the center of your being right and within the center of your being you are going to experience uh god or you're going to experience absolute truth absolute being absolute non-being, right, uh, this is the duality of it, and you can go ever deep into the mastery, uh, the more that you are exploring the unknowns, right, but, uh, it almost always involves having to go alone, right, because this is a necessary step in the process of self-mastery, or, uh, even self-realization, Maybe self-mastery, because self-realization can actually come uh, to anybody, even effortlessly, right? So, being alone is very important for self-mastery and coming to know thyself, right? Uh, or being able to experience God, which is synonymous or the same as coming to know thyself. Um, and... Uh, coming into the gnosis is requiring a time alone, right? Uh, just being alone. This is all that is needed because being alone is very powerful. And uh, the states of stillness, silence, and peace that come with being alone and clarity And the meditativeness can actually allow for uh, the enlightenment, right? Uh, for truth to arise in your life, which is very, 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 very uh, necessary for anyone who is trying to expand awareness, right? Which is the most essential thing that we should be doing for ourselves individually so that the collective can come into a progression rather than living unprogressively and unessentially, we can actually um, accelerate things, right? Um, 
So being alone is one of the keys for uh, coming to know thyself, right? And dissolving away as an ego into universal consciousness, which is very, 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 very much the, um, the state to be in. Okay, so I do thank everybody for watching once again. Peace out, one love, and have a great evening.